What's up everybody, Jesse Slot City Fishing. We're here at Hagen Coastal Outfitters. It's their new location in Green Cove Springs. This video is gonna be top 10 gifts to get your fishermen for Christmas. Uh, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, kids, whatever. Uh, my wife said I should have made this video last year a list. That way if you don't know what to get them, instead of getting them gift cards or whatever, or you're gonna buy them something and they're just gonna return it, uh, I'm gonna give you a list of what I would wanna get for Christmas as a fishing gift. Hey guys, before we get into the top 10 Christmas gifts, if you hadn't heard of Slot City Fishing, we're a channel of three brothers that are very passionate about the outdoors. It's me, Ethan, Nick. We do a lot of travel videos, reviews, giveaways, a lot of volunteer work with different organizations. So uh, consider subscribing to our channel. Also, all these uh, things I'm about to show you, shop local uh, in our area. This is at the Green Cove Springs location of Hagen Coastal Outfitters. Uh, but all your other local shops probably carry this stuff too. If you want to order this stuff online, please consider using our Amazon affiliate link. Shameless plug for us, but it's not cheap being a fishing YouTuber. Cameras around saltwater, we're always using baits. Gas for the boat out on the water. Uh, it really goes a long way to support our channel and we would really appreciate it. You can order it off Amazon, it'll show up uh, in a package, right at your front door, wrap it up, put it under the tree. Uh, thank you guys, let's get into the top 10. All right dude, so we're inside now. Uh, Hagen Coastal Outfitters, Clay, the director, uh, said that we could come in here and show you my top 10 gifts. We're gonna go from number one up to 10, 10 is the best. I know it's backwards, but it's my video. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so if you don't know what to get, I'm about to show you. All right, number one on the list is gonna be terminal tackle. Uh, this stuff can be confusing for a lot of you guys, so I'm gonna tell you, this, these are things that all fishermen need all the time, so you're not gonna go wrong uh, getting this stuff. Okay, for hooks, I recommend, these are one-aught shiner hooks. They're also called uh, kale hooks. The important thing is this like crescent shape, all right? Uh, your fisherman is going to use these under popping corks, Carolina rigs. All right, my other recommendation for hooks, these are one-aught mosquito hooks by owner. Uh, if your fisherman is a surf fisherman, these are what they're going to use for pompano and whiting. All right, next up for tackle, popping corks. Every fisherman uses these if they're fishing for trout, flounder, redfish, inshore. Uh, can't have too many of these things. Fits inside a stocking. Uh, this is a Cajun Thunder, pretty good. Next will be fishing line. If uh, you're buying a reel for Christmas or they just need a uh, fishing line, they probably do. If they don't right now, they're gonna need it eventually. You can always get them line. I would recommend 30 pound braid. This is Power Pro. This is what I use because it's very affordable and it lasts forever. And uh, you can land pretty much any, any kind of fish around uh, our area with it, trout, uh, redfish, flounder, even like really, really big ones. So line and then leader material. This is 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Both these things fit in a stocking or a small box and every fisherman needs it. Next up is jig heads. There's lots of different ways to use these. Every fisherman uses them. Uh, this is a brand that I actually uh, really enjoy using. It's the Z-Mans and Redfish Eye. And then these are really cool, fancy, because they have a weed guard on them. So if you live around areas with lots of seagrass or you know your fisherman is fishing around a lot of grass, these are super awesome jig heads. Okay, next up on the list, number two is lures. I'm gonna show you some beginners fishing lures and then I'm gonna show you some more advanced ones, all right? The first ones I'm gonna show you are the beginners. These are great lures because you can literally put them on a hook and throw them out there and leave it alone and you'll still catch fish. So if you got a surf fisherman, fish bites, you just put it on a hook, throw it out in the surf, you'll catch pompano, whiting, redfish, pretty much anything. And then uh, fish bites, these are the Fight Club lures. You put this on one of those jig heads I showed you earlier, and it has, both of these have, all three of these actually have scent inside them. That's what makes them so good. But you put this on a hook and the fish, they can't resist it, man. They'll go eat it. And then another great one, this is like all fishermen use all three of these, is gulp. It has that nasty juice in there and the fish love it, man. You just put this on a hook, reel it in, and these get ate like crazy. If I just got a big box just full of these three things, like 20 packs of these, I would be easy. Good job. <laughs> All 
All right, now we're getting to like the more advanced lures, but all fishermen have these in their tackle box. I'll start with top waters. Uh, these are ones that I actually throw and would recommend. Uh, this is a Rapala uh, Skitter V. It's in like a mullet color. Very, very good lure. This bait, this lure is probably the most popular lure that I know of that people use. And it's the 17 MR. This is called a Mirrodine. And this color, this green with uh, the silver, that color. This is a great lure. All right, and then uh, jerk baits. This is a slash bait by Rapala. And they throw this out behind their kayaks or boats or whatever, and it just trolls them. Very good bait. All fishermen, they need this stuff too, man. And that's storage, so lure boxes. This is a really great one, the Plano Waterproof Stowaway. It has a rubber gasket around the edge and that makes it to where no water can get inside. If they fish around salt water, it happens all the time. Water gets in your lure boxes and you gotta change out all your hooks. So uh, these little boxes, you can put all your tackle and lures in, and then you can also get them bags, anything like that. So storage for your tackle and lures. Next up is gonna be number three, it's accessories. Uh, we'll just show you a whole bunch of them real quick. Uh, first one I'll show you is the fish grip. Uh, this is a super popular thing. It helps you uh, land the fish. They put it in the net. They put this thing in the fish's mouth and they got a good grip on it. It makes it to where you don't lose your fish. Kayak accessories, if they have a kayak, uh, you can also use this one from shore to or a boat. Landing net, that's a really good one. If they have a kayak, milk crate, they strap on uh, like PVC pipes and rod holders on there to stow all their gear. They can get a visibility flag, lights, uh, rod holders, all that stuff's really good, uh, really good gifts. This is a really great one. This is something that I would never buy myself, but I wish that I had or somebody would buy it for me. I usually just use like the really cheap ones from Harbor Free, but uh, that's nice pliers. Uh, they're aluminum, they won't rust, they got a line cutter. If you get this for a fisherman, they're gonna be stoked. All right, number four, believe it or not, is clothes, all right? Uh, if your fisherman is anything like me, I hate buying clothes. So when people buy them for me, I get stoked about it. Uh, for your fishermen specifically, get them long sleeve shirts. Here's one with the Hagen Coastal Outfitters logo on it. I'm probably gonna buy this actually today. Then uh, these performance dry fit shirts, like this one, really, really good. Then something that I wish I had that I don't, and I'm probably not gonna buy it for myself. That's rain gear, rain jacket. Like, just, like I would keep this in my boat in a dry bag and like just have it always ready. Boots like this, like uh, di fishing deck boots, uh, waterproof, keep your feet warm and they're uh, skid resistant so you won't slip and fall. If you wanna get some real uh, brownie points, uh, fishing sunglasses, man. Super great gift. You can see I have a set. This is my second pair and I lost my first pair. So even if they have a pair, it's good to have a standby, get them different color frames or something. But uh, Costas are what I would recommend. And then specifically for the color, I would say like these green mirror lenses uh, with, it's a green tint with an amber lens. That's really good if you're fishing inshore. And then if, you're, if your fisherman goes offshore, get them these blue lenses and they'll be very impressed. Like, how did you know that? If you do end up getting a pair of uh, nice fishing glasses, buy these things with them, man. Uh, protect your investment. Uh, it's, it's these little lanyards that hold your glasses around your neck. That'll save you like $150, $200 if you, you know, lose your glasses. All right, number five on the list. This is more for the boaters or kayakers. Uh, that's a good life jacket. This is also something that people skimp on all the time because they can be kind of expensive. Uh, people opt out and buy the cheap life jackets, but I promise you, if you buy them a really nice life jacket, like this one is an inflatable life jacket, uh, they wear it and it has a little ring they pull and it'll inflate, uh, they'll really appreciate it. And then also uh, fishing life jackets are also a little bit pricey. If you bought them one of those, uh, they would love it. Okay, now we're gonna talk about number six. 
and number seven. We're gonna do them at the same time, and that's rods and reels, okay? Uh, for reels, what I would suggest for a beginner, I actually use this every time that I go out fishing. This is the Pen Pursuit 3. You can buy this just the reel itself. They sell it like almost everywhere, or you can buy it in a combo. That's why I'm combining these six and seven, because if you bought this for a, a fisherman, I say beginner, but like I consider myself an advanced fisherman and I still use this. It's a really great affordable combo. And my wife actually asked me what's the difference between the price of these and that's the size of the reels, all right? So uh, if they're just starting out or you know they fish in a kayak or a boat and they're going inshore for trout, redfish, flounder, I would recommend a size 3,000 or 4,000 reel, a small one. And then if you know that they're going out trying to catch monsters, uh, I would recommend a bigger one. Like this is probably a 6,000. It's a 5,000, but a 6,000. So you want a 3,000 or less for uh, smaller stuff or if they're throwing lures and if they're throwing live bait, you want a big one like a size 5,000 and up. Okay, so those reels that I just mentioned, those are all spinning reels. If they're a beginner and they want a casting reel or you just want to get them a casting reel, this is a great option. This is the Abu Garcia Pro Max. Uh, super great beginner bait caster reel. They won't backlash it all the time. If you don't know what that means, they'll cast it and all the line will come off the reel. That's common with these. But this is a great uh, bait caster setup. Okay, so that was six and seven. Uh, the reason it was six and seven is you can combine those also and buy it as a combo. So like this one, for instance, you get the reel that I recommended and a great rod. So uh, buy combos when you can, because then you get a rod and a reel. So good to get. And then uh, some of the rods and uh, reels that I would recommend that they don't have here currently, this place just opened, but I just talked to Clay, they're gonna start stocking some of this stuff in the near future. Uh, expensive reels. If I got a Shimano Stratic, I'll post a picture of it. I would freak out, man. That's a super, super great reel. And then for rods, uh, nice rods, I would recommend this uh, G Loomis Inshore series or the St. Croix uh, rods. And I'll post pictures and links of those also. Okay, these last three, if you wanna be an overachiever, these are the really, really good gifts. If they don't have these things and you get them for them, they're gonna just wig out, man. Uh, this one, probably more than everything I recommend, even the other stuff I'm about to tell you, get this, man. It's a surf fishing cart. You can use it surf fishing, pier fishing, off bridges, whatever. You put your cooler in it, you put your rods in it, and then it makes it to where you don't gotta carry around all your stuff. But uh, if you watch any of my videos, you'll see I use this thing every single time that I go. So uh, this one is the Fishing Mate, Little Mate, but they make different size ones, man. Get the big one. That's, that's what you should get. <laughs> okay, going along with the surf cart. Uh, these are things that most people will not buy themselves because they're a little bit expensive, but these are sand spikes. Uh, they're aluminum, so they will never rust. They have um, tape measures on them, and the coolest part about them is you put this down into the sand and then you step on this and then it goes straight in. So they don't gotta bring PVC pipes and smash them with hammers and they break and then you gotta carry a mallet and all that stuff. So literally when I go, I take my cart, it has my cooler on it. I have four of these things just and then I'm ready to go fishing. Okay, number nine, we're almost done. Uh, if they don't have electronics for their boat or their kayak, and you can also use them from shore, I would say fish finders, man. Really, really good gifts. Uh, this might be a gift where if you're gonna consider buying it, you might wanna ask first because there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. But with everything that I'm mentioning, just keep your receipts and they can come in and exchange it. But a little guy like this for a kayak would be great. If they got a boat, uh, something like this would be really, really good. And then I'll show you uh, when I get back to the house or I'll post a picture of it, a little sonar that I use when I fish from shore. It's called the Deeper Pro Plus. It's a little ball that you throw out 
and then it Wi-Fi connects to your phone and you got a fish finder on your phone. You can like throw it off a bank or whatever. So fish finders, really good gifts. Okay, yeah. number 10, best thing on the list. We got different colors. If you're that super dad or you wanna get the Christmas gift of a lifetime, man, kayak. Here at Hagen Coastal Outfitters, they're a dealer for Old Town Kayaks. They make super great kayaks. This one is the Topwater PDL. Uh, you've probably seen these fancy kayaks. They got pedal drive systems on them, so you don't gotta use your hands. You steer it with this rudder that comes down like this. Uh, but they have lots of different options. Uh, this is the Topwater PDL. They got a Predator, it's a super nice one. Then they also have some uh, cheaper kayaks, like this one right here. This is the Crescent Ultralight. This is a great kayak if you uh, you know want to save some coin. And it's uh, also got some great benefits to it. Like it's extremely light. Uh, for me, the lighter the kayak, the more I'm uh, like willing to take it out because I don't got to lug around heavy stuff. So super light, affordable. I talked to Clay and uh, they do offer 12 months, same as cash financing through Hagen Coastal Outfitters. And uh, they're gonna be running some crazy promos pretty soon for the holidays. So if you're considering buying a kayak, come check out what they got. And they have a lot more than what I'm mentioning. See, they got ocean kayaks, old town, boats, paddle boards, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, kayak, best gift ever. All right, so here's Clay. I just want to tell you thank you, man, for letting me uh, sure, come out sure. and do this. Glad He's uh, the director of Hagen Coastal Outfitters. So you guys got some big stuff coming up for the holidays, Yeah, right? we just opened up the store. Just uh, We've only been in business about a month now, and we're getting ready to have our grand opening. I think starting on November 22nd, 23rd, 24th. And we're going to have some really good deals throughout the store, but you know, we're going to have, especially in here, we got some great deals on uh, kayaks and paddle boards and all the clothing and accessories. Pretty much the whole shop is going to be on sale. So you need to make sure you get out here and check it out. We'd love to have you, love to meet you. Uh, got a great staff here and uh, we'd be glad to help you out, put you on the water, you can demo stuff. Uh, we have uh, a lot of good financing options for you, so uh, we want to put you in the water, let you have a good time out there. Cool. Well, we really appreciate you yeah. letting us walk around and make a mess in your store. Our store. <laughs> yeah, we're glad to have you, man. Cool. Anytime. All right, guys, there's my top 10 Christmas gifts for your fishermen. I really encourage you guys to shop local. Usually they're mom and pop businesses and they could really use your business. Uh, that particular store, if you're in our area, was uh, Hagen Coastal Outfitters. They have two locations, one on San Jose Boulevard, and the other one is down there off of 17 in Green Cove Springs. That's their new location, so swing by, check it out. If you end up buying something from there, tell them that Slot City Fishing sent you, all right? Uh, if you're not local and you wanna buy some of that stuff, uh, you can use our Amazon affiliate link down below. Shameless plug, but we have our own storefront and if you buy stuff off those links, then we get a small portion of that profit. If you got any useful information out of this video in particular, make sure you like it. And then more importantly, share it with your significant other. Drop that subtle hint. This is what I want. Hey, number eight, that fishing cart was really cool. You know what to do. Share the video. If I forgot something, comment and uh, other people will see that also so like the video comment please and then share it those three things really help fishing youtubers to help get these videos off the ground so we get more traffic but yeah that's going to do it for today's video really appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time people don't really want to spend money what's up talking stuffers i can't read and talk at the same time <laughs>